Guess what, folks? I'm finna take the mystery out of lobster risotto. Really, really, really easy. I know that we all think that we gonna do that on Valentine's Day or something special, but you can make this at the house. So let's get it. So listen, I'm finna take that mystery out of it for you. Now look, this is what I got right here. Look, I've already done my lobster tails, right? I done already took them out. I'm gonna go ahead and put this one here. If I was gonna cut the flesh and put it on the top, I would run my thumb down the bottom of this, separate the meat from that membrane there. But I'm gonna go ahead and do it like this. This is like super easy to do. And then look how small this lobster tail is. This what makes it a little bit, of, you know, more affordable. You guys probably could do this if you just wanted to do uh, two, you know what I mean? But I got four here, you know what I mean? Because I like to have a lot of lobster in mine. Now, look, I just peel this back, reach down here, go ahead, separate it from the membrane on the bottom, pull all the way back to the tail because we want to get as much meat as we can. All right, we pull that out, then we take a look at it. And look at that right there, folks. What we want to do is just like multitask. This is a really, a real, real quick dish to make. Just put this on low, All right? I'm gonna go ahead and drop in, you know, my butter. Now, while that's melting, if you guys come on back over here, I'm gonna take my lobster and just cut this down into the bites that I would like to have. You know what I mean? Uh, you guys can do it any type of way you want to do it. It depends on how big your bites want to be. Now, since I got four and I like to taste the lobster, look, that's a nice piece. So I grab these. We do the same. Now, I'm gonna take this around, make sure this is completely melted, right? Right, now, we have that in there, and if you want some insurance, I want you guys to take a look at this right here. You see this right here? This is what I keep inside of this right here. Look, this is branch and vine, and this is garlic infused olive oil. I probably cook with this probably 70% of the time. I have all of the, you know, garlic, and, I mean, I have all of the infused uh, olive oils, but, Getting back to this right here, if I put just a little bit in there, like I just did right there, that helped protect the butter too. That's like a little pro tip. And, ooh, man, you can smell that too, right? So now, let's go ahead and put this in there, so, right? Now we don't want to overcook it, right? Look at this right here. So you see this right here? This is about as far as you want to go. On that low heat, it should only take you about three minutes, you know? So look, we'll just put it in here. Okay, so I done wash, you know, my carrot and my celery, right? So what we want to do is we want to cut this down, right? So I'll come to here, get rid of that. Now, this is already thin, right? So I'm gonna take it and just go across, you know, down the middle of the spine, right? So this would be good enough for me. Now I'm gonna go ahead and give this a dice. All right, so peel, Slice them down just to get them into some, you know, small pieces, right? Then you take your carrot, you want to try to keep it all about the same size as your celery. Okay, so once we get to this part that we at right now, I got myself a bowl. I'm going to explain this as simple as it can be, right? I'm going to start with my carrots because, you know, carrots is like super hard, right? So we want to get our carrots and our celery done. After we do that, we're going to put that, up, set it to the side, and then it's going to move real fast, right? So got a little butter here. We want to get this to melt. Just put a little bit in there. We're going to protect that. That's cool. We want that buttery, buttery flavor. Now, like I do my onions. Now, if I had onions, I'd probably put those in there first. But this right here, I'm going to start with my, my carrots. Just give them about a minute head start. And then I add my celery. Coming up on a minute, right? We add our celery. Now, this combination of flavors right here does it. Now, it's almost like the Trinity because we're going to have some uh, more like mirepoix. You know what I mean? Because what we're going to do is we're going to use uh, shallots, right? But you guys got to get used to cooking with shallots too. Now that I separate my shallot, right? I'm going to go ahead and we're going to cut this down. You know, excuse me for saying that. What we're going to do is we're getting ready to mince it. We want that unique, you know, flavor of that. That's why we're not just using a regular onion, right? Now the part I want to tell you guys is, listen, when you're cooking this down, you just want to cook these until they get soft. Right now, when I take them like this, I can feel the difference between when I first put them in here, and you know, and now they starting to soften up. This is almost about right where I want it to be. You know what I mean? So I just run, I keep doing this because I want them to have maximum, you know, contact. Now I take this. We just put this in here. I want to get it all in there. Right? It's okay if we leave a little residue in there because we cooking. Still keeping that. All low. I'll set this off to the side over here like that. I come back with my garlic infused olive oil right here. Yes, sir. Put that there, but we're gonna wake that up even more. I'm gonna take my shallot. 
once you get that in there. Now those of you guys that's been following me know I like to use my garlic press and fresh garlic, right? But somebody bought me this mince and I gotta use it. So I'll just take it like that and we're just gonna move this around. I'm gonna kinda like keep it towards the outside. Now I'm getting ready to bring in my rice. Now we kinda like just toast this up a little bit and let this marry together. Now we're going to add in our white wine. Now, this is really like a deglaze step. Gives it, all this is part of like the uh, the taste too. Now we're going to cook all that off of there, but I just want to show you something. I'm using these hex clad uh, pots and pans. You know what I mean? So really nothing is down here. So we just want to put about a half a cup in here. You know? As soon as it get hot, you'll be able to smell the wine right off at the back. All right, while we cooking off that wine, right? Now we need to have about four cups, right? So let's just go ahead and do that. This is my chicken broth. Now we come back over here. Look like we done cooked off all of it. You really don't see nothing, you know, in there when you smell it. Whew, that right there is right, folks. Trust your nose too, right? So if it smells good here, it kind of like got like a, a creamy type texture to it already, right? So now we want to take our broth. Now I'm gonna start adding a little bit in at a time, right? I'm on that medium heat also, should have said that. You know what I mean? Let's go ahead and verify. Cause look, we want to start, we want to see it boil. Now I'm gonna keep, you know, stirring this. What I want to see is, I want to see the absorption with my rice, right? We want to let that, once it's absorbed, then I'm gonna add a little bit more to it. Then we're gonna keep adding a little bit more and more until all of it's gone. But it usually takes about four cups. You see this right here, see everything? That was probably about a cup I put in there. Actually, I'm looking at my Pyrex, I know it is. You probably wanna add just about a half a cup at a time, right? And the reason being, if you put it in a cup, you see it took a little, it took a minute for this to go ahead and, uh, you know, to come back up to a boil. So about a half a cup at a time, you cook it, you let it absorb you know, whatever evaporates out of here, but you really just want the absorption. And this right here, you guys gotta try it. If you never tried this before though, you probably put this in a, in your arsenal too. This is one of the things that's super easy to make. You know I mean? It just takes a little bit of time working with this rice. Okay, so look, what we're doing is, you can see everything is just about gone, right? You can see how it's thick. I reduce my heat. You know what I mean? Let's see, uh, we just want to be about medium, a medium flame, right? You see how it's kind of like thick? Kind of look like wet rice, right? But this is what you want to have right here. Now, what you want to do is, you want to add your celery and carrots back in there and everything else, any of the juices, all of that. That's where you're going to get your flavor from, right? So we just move this around like this. Let me just get everything mixed in. This starts to heat this back up. And I want to, I'm going to go ahead and come down to a low, right? Now, you see this cheese right here? You guys can pronounce it. You can let me know how to do it. I think they call it Parmigiano, you know, cheese or whatever. This right here gives me a little bit of a tongue twist, but don't trip. You got it. Don't forget, you guys can go to my website. The full printable or screenshotable uh, recipe is on there. That's smoking and grilling with AB.com, and that's W I T A B.com. All right, so now I'm gonna take my cheese, and what I wanna do is I'm gonna grate it. And what I'm looking to do is to get myself, I don't know, maybe about a half a cup would be good. Make sure you put your fire and you got your fire set on at least, you know, like a low heat. You know what I mean? And now you notice I'm doing like the small, the small size make it easier to, you know, to grade and to melt. Now remember we got that low heat. Now what we do is we start adding this to it, right? Then we just start working it around just like what you see. Look at that right there. You see how it just disappears? Only about a half a cup, folks. Sometime I make this, and you know, you be trying to make it like cheesy. You know what I mean? But it's no need. Now the reason we got it on low heat, just to help it melt, but when we add our, don't forget we gotta put our lobster in here, right? When we put that lobster inside, we don't want that lobster to, you know, cook no more. Right? We just want it to be a little bit on the warm side, just enough to heat it up. All right, so now we just about done. Now I'm gonna take this, my lobster, and I'm gonna go start incorporating a little bit of this inside of here, you know, to help warm it up, right? 
Listen, I just tasted this, and I can tell you, look, that's it right there. Ooh-wee. Now, have you ever had it? It's just that easy. I know nobody really thinks it's that easy to do once you see it in one of these videos, but it is that easy. Now I'm going to take it, put this in a bowl. Remember, I'll show you some of them, that lobster back. That's really for the presentation. You know what I mean? And I can use a metal utensil inside of my hex clad, you know, my hex clad pots and pans. Why? Because it, it's just the way it's designed. That's not a non-coated. I mean, it's not a non-stick uh, coating. It's made in the pan. So, so as you can see, I hit it with a little bit of the parsley. Listen, I'm not finna over talk it. I promise you, if you ever got it in a restaurant, you know that this right here is loaded with, you know, lobster, right? That's why I did the four. You know what? Cheers, y'all. That right there is fire. <clears throat> For those of you guys that ever had it out in the restaurant, you know what I mean? It, look, it's loaded with that lobster tail. Listen, I'm not finna over talk it. I'm finna get right to it. Don't forget, talk to me down in the comment section below. Don't forget, this full recipe is on my website, smokinganddrillingwithab.com. That's W-I-T-A-B.com. With that being said, if you're new, you know what to do. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and tell everybody. There's a channel out here that's simplifying these recipes and taking the mystery out of cooking. And guess what, folks? Your boy got you covered for Valentine's Day. I'm out. Peace.